Welcome, dear traders! Asian stock markets are trading sluggishly as the traders remain cautious amid risk aversion. The risk of sentiment has increased as the Wall Street is gripped by pessimism. It appears that the bearish sentiment is likely to prevail in the long term. Given the risk of a global inflation and a recession, the International Monetary Fund has once again downgraded its forecast for the global economy. It also made a sharp warning. The worst is yet to come. These economic worse are likely to affect all countries, but in a different ways. The Bank of England has decided to cut emergency stimulus measures. China is extending lockdowns again due to the rapid spread of the virus. However, the Fed's monetary policy decisions remain the main market driver. The US economy and the US dollar have an enormous impact on the world markets. Besides, the Fed is now the most hawkish central bank. While analysts fear a global recession, the U.S. is facing completely different challenges. Cleveland Fed President Loretta Master believes that the main risk for the U.S. economy is that the current pace of monetary tightening may be insufficient to tame inflation. As for the risk of a recession in the country, Joe Biden said in his speech on Tuesday that a recession is possible, but the contraction will be insignificant. He also noted that the U.S. economy is strong enough to withstand the current threats. It means that the odds of a shift to a softer stance before the end of the year are quite low, especially given the upbeat non-farm payrolls report. Now, traders are anticipating inflation data, despite numerous remarks from Fed officials about a strong commitment to a hawkish stance. Fresh inflation figures may affect the Fed's rate decision in November. Currently, the US dollar is the strongest currency in the basket, and the US dollar index has been grabbing for the uh, sixth consecutive session. It's a moving towards a 20 year high reached the last month. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said that the strength of the dollar is the logical outcome of a different monetary policy stances globally and that its value should be set by the market. The International Monetary Fund also stated that its rise is mostly driven by fundamental forces such as um, tightening monetary policy and the energy crisis. However, a strong US dollar exerts pressure on other countries. This week, the trajectory of the greenback depends on the inflation report and the Fed meeting minutes. In the Asian session, it was consolidating in the upward range of 113.05 and 113.59. At the time of preparing material for this video, the US dollar approached 113.09. Japan is one of the countries whose economy is hurt by a strong dollar. The national currency and the economy are weakening due to rising energy prices. Japanese businesses have to buy even more dollars for import payments. Given the divergence in the monetary policies, the US 10-year government bond yield exceeds the Japanese one by 375 basis points. It appears that Janet Yellen's statements relate uh, uh, primarily to the yen. It's uh, always made of balancing risks, but I have confidence in the Fed to make a good set of decisions and we are not going to interfere, she pinpointed. In other words, there will be no coordinated currency interventions to bolster the yen. The Bank of Japan will have to use the foreign exchange reserves every time when the yen is approaching the threshold level. Last month, the critical level was located just below 145.90, and in the Asian session, the pair was trading significantly higher. It rose by 6% from yesterday's closing price, growing to 140. 6.22. Since the opening of today's Asian session, various Japanese officials have already made statements about their readiness to intervene in the case of um, excessively sharp moves of the yen. 
so finance minister Shinichi Suzuki said that the regulator would take necessary steps in the foreign exchange market if necessary. So far, the Bank of Japan has made only verbal interventions, and the dollar yen pay is trading in the upward channel of 145.61 and 146.38. Analysts note that the effect of the intervention is likely to end within the next few weeks. The Australian dollar was also trading slightly below yesterday's closing price in the Asian session. It fell to two-year lows and reached 0.6266. The fundamental factors are unfavorable for the Aussie, which is extremely sensitive to risk sentiment and commodity prices. Shanghai and other big Chinese cities have ramped up testing for COVID-19 as infections rise. Lockdowns have been imposed in small cities as well. In China, demand for Australian goods is likely to decline as well as iron ore prices. Although the Australian economy is resilient, uh, the Aussie is unable to climb due to the threat of a global recession and dropping demand for Australian commodities in China because of the pandemic. The USD pay is declining today, moving away from the resistance level of 0.6290 to the support level of 0.6240. The outlook for Aussies is still bearish. Do not forget that one can make a profit even in a times of a sharp market swings. Subscribe to our channel and keep your finger on the pulse. Feel free to leave your comments down below and see you soon.